The National ICT Innovations Hub was built by the government of Uganda under the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance, primarily to provide an environment for ICT innovators who have issues with workspace and internet connectivity. The Managing Board of the Innovation Hub, as well as the Permanent Secretary and the Minister for Information and Communications Technology, met with the Parliamentary Committee on ICT to discuss the Hub's ongoing projects, success and challenges. Mary Goretti Natiganda has details. Now, what drives economies that have made it is research, development and innovation. So one of the things we are doing as a committee is to look at how much money is being spent in the area of ICT. So that next financial year we are going to start fighting about harmonizing that money and focusing it into one thing. So that we stop wasting on silos and duplicity on things which are being done by others which can actually be harmonized and create the single platform that can actually offer services. The Parliamentary ICT Committee, led by the Right Honorable Igeme Nathan Nabeta, stressed the importance of young people embracing technological innovations in order to keep up with the fast-paced world. In order to empower Ugandan innovators to conduct research, develop technologies that compete globally, and produce solutions that address the real-world issues across the continent, the committee promises to establish conducive settings and promote mindset change. Last week I was discussing with some young people in Arusha, and I was telling them that the technological advancements that are going to happen in the 20 years coming will outweigh what we have done so far in the last 80 years. The National Innovations Hub was built by the UPDF Engineering Brigade for 5.6 billion shillings during the tenure of Honorable Frank Tumwebaze as the ICT Minister. It acts as a resource center for Ugandan innovators by providing them with free access to all necessary services, including internet and computers, to help them develop their projects. As the hub, our goal is to improve coordination within the ICT innovation ecosystem thereby facilitating the development and consumption of homegrown solutions, which in turn will increase employment and also reduce government expenditure on international ICT solutions. Procurement, agriculture, logistics, transport and creatives are some of the important priority sectors that are identified in Uganda's Digital Vision 2040 and NDP3 development priorities. The hub was created to support the realization of the following benefits. A, promotion of local innovations. B, increase import substitu substitutions. And C, improved coordination within the ICT innovation ecosystem. The innovation space is majorly concentrating on the young people who make up 83% of the country's population. Therefore, the major four pillars that drive digital acceleration and transformation have been implemented, and these include an enabling environment, which includes the laws and policies like the Computer Misuse Act, infrastructure to be able to expand connectivity, equipping innovators with the right skill sets that help propel digital transformations, research, and innovations. Partnerships we have developed because as uh, in the innovation space we can't work alone as government. We can't support innovators alone but we have to ride on several partnerships that include the private sector, I think the principal talked about that, academia, development partners and so on. Commercial agriculture, industries, ICT and services are the most emphasized sectors of the economy, yet ICT still faces numerous challenges that are not being put at the forefront of planning and ICT. And it is the most well sung sector everywhere because it crosses, it, it, it crosses in all ministries. The Department of Information, the, the Director of Information and National Guidance has zero money for operation and has salaries for only three months next financial year. IPFs we got. Next financial year, the PS can only pay salaries for three months in that directorate. The Ministry of ICT is hopeful about the successful installation of the Pearl Africa SAT, which they believe will quicken the digital transformation and further boost innovations in the country. Mary Great Nachiganda, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.
And now we do head into a break, but when we return, we have the coffee court and we have more reports regarding clearing and forwarding, as well as the filler industry. Stick around. Smart 24, driving business. Test of Uganda in a new international park. Smart twenty four driving business. I'll be back from the break. Let's continue with more business today. Now, the clearing and forwarding procedure does start with arrival of cargo at the port, airport, or any recommended destination. In Uganda, for example, it is usually